Right now, the NCAA is easing penalties for athletes involved in sports betting. KCCI Sports Director Scott Reister is here to tell us what has changed and how it could impact Iowa college athletes. Scott. The changes only apply to athletes who bet on other college sports at their own school. Before, gambling on other NCAA sports would result in a permanent loss of eligibility. In a statement, quote, effective immediately, reinstatement guidelines for student athletes who wager on teams at their school excluding their own team, will start at requiring one season of ineligibility and a loss of one year of eligibility. Iowa State tight end Deshaun Hanneke could get relief from the new rules. He was cited for betting on Iowa State basketball games, but not football games. He's on the football team. However, it does no good for Noah Shannon, whose senior year is almost over. He bet on a women's basketball game at Iowa. But today, the NCAA decided to keep the punishment for that, as we just mentioned, at a full season of lost eligibility. He doesn't have it next year. He's done. Iowa football head coach Kirk Ferentz says, quote, I'm heartbroken for Noah and his family that the NCAA has come to this conclusion. Noah did not break any laws. He did not commit any crimes. And yet he is being severely overpunished by a membership committee that refuses to see perspective or use common sense. Shannon was recently allowed to start practicing with the team, giving him hope he was about to be reinstated. Turned out that was false hope for the senior who was considered one of the top leaders on the team.